Hello YouTube and welcome to the Dum Dum's Brief Guide of Jamestown. Now, all we're going to do here is we're going pretty much as the video explains, the Dum Dum's Guide to the Brief History of Jamestown. Now, in this video we're going over the brief history of Jamestown from the Dum Dum's Guide point of view. So, I'm just boat I'm just riding my boat right up to Jamestown. Now, we're going to go over the basics. All these signs you see here are all basics in Jamestown. So, it took place in Virginia. I'm sure you guys knew that. It was originally land to the Powhatan Indians. So, originally this land was owned by the Powhatan Indians until Jamestown settlers came. Now, J People set off for Jamestown on December 6th in 1606, which ended up not being the greatest idea because they left in winter in December, which was really a big hardship that they faced from everything from sickness, the flu, malaria, uh, not malaria, but pretty much everything from sickness to... Um, the flu to pneumonia, they were all over that. And keep in mind, this play took place in the 1600s, so they didn't have any me medical knowledge. Now, the next, the next basic is it took them 159 days to get there. So they set off in on the 6th of December in 1606. And then 159 days later, they arrived at Jamestown. Now, here's some more basics about Jamestown. Jamestown was the first permanent settlement in America. Now, I, th I know you guys have heard about Christopher Columbus and how um, the Vikings were there before him. Yes, that is true, but the Vikings never made a permanent settlement here. So this, so Jamestown, beautiful Jamestown, was the first se permanent settlement in America. Now, only oh, there is something I want to go over before we get up to those, which are more of the detailed facts. Um, there were no llamas in Jamestown, and the only reason I say that is because if you guys look over here, there are these annoying llamas. I didn't mean to hit it, but yeah, there are these annoying llamas that were all over here. Oh, oh, this llama, lo oh, I, I love you too, llama. Okay, but yeah, there were no, I, I apologize for hitting you. Um, there were no llamas in Jamestown. I'm sorry about all the llamas. That's, that's the only reason that sign is there. I'm pretty sure that wasn't obvious. But I mean, this is the Dum Dum's Guide, so maybe you guys didn't know that. Okay, so here's some more of the semi-detailed facts. Now, right here, we have only men were allowed on the first trip to Jamestown. And the only reason was because people back then, you know how they were. They, they, I'm not even going to go over that. That's, that, 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 that's not related to Jamestown, but... You know how people were back then. They thought, oh, men, men can only do everything. Only men were powerful. Only men, that all that kind of, all that stuff. Um, but only men were allowed on the first trip to Jamestown. Now, later on, yes, they did have more women came. Um, originally, two women came. And according to a book, they all the men were fighting over that all over the women because a lot of them hadn't hadn't seen any women for a very long time about two years about a year or so later um they women arrived that was they wanted to make sure women were able to bring their little boys and girls to a nice settlement which if you think about it is pretty nice so now um this the next fact is that the James River and Jamestown were named after King James. King James, here's our James River right here. And this is um, Jamestown, all this area. Now, they were all named after King James. Now, 
There were three ships on the trip to Jamestown, on the first trip to Jamestown, and Jamestown was burnt down and then rebuilt. So, speaking of the three ships, we have all three right here. Godspeed, Susan Con Constant, and the Discovery. Now, a good way to remember this is Godspeed. Susan Consent, Constant, sorry, Susan Constant. And the discovery. Now, you you can kind of think. Well, one thing that I kind of had trouble memorizing was the discovery. Now, the thing about I don't really know how you, how you guys can remember these two, but I do have a trick for remembering the discovery. The Discovery Channel. I'm sure they've made a documentary on Jamestown. That's just a cool way to remember the discovery. Uh, sorry, guys. Sorry fellow dum-dums i do not have any ideas for the godspeed and the susan constant okay now who shall not work shall not eat this was an originally a quote from the new testament but this guy our friend here john smith who played a key role in jamestown thank uh -huh. you for being such a good leader john and he did make this quote. Not many people know. Not many people know that it was that it was from the New Testament. Most people just think that it was his original quote. No, he not copied it. He didn't copy it, but he said it and he quoted it pretty much. And he was also a soldier and explorer, so it was perfect for our buddy John Smith right here to be able to go on this trip to jamestown he was an amazing leader for jamestown and he was doing a great job at his job good jamestown probably wouldn't be there if it wasn't for our friend john smith right here now a hardship before we go over jamestown hardships we're going to be going over what a hardship is a hardship is according to the where merriam webster dictionary is suffering or a sort of um difficulty that you are going towards like if you're having money problems that is a hardship and a lot of things is pretty much just a great way to describe that suffering hardships great way to describe that so here were some of jamestown's hardships sickness and hunger were really big ones now, if you think about it, sickness makes perfectly good sense, especially during the winter. You know how, basically, you guys know how we get shots to prevent the flu. They did not have that, because they were not the smartest. They were somewhat dum-dums back then. So they didn't understand that, you know, that, that, that they get sick. So they did not have modern medicine so obviously during the winter that would be a really hard thing that they had to come come by like i said pneumonia um and the flu those were really big ones and hunger that would just make them even more sick even more um hung just it would just not help at all and one thing i do want to say is right here how it says hardships were sickness and hunger the water over here let's just bounce right over to this water over here um this water over here now this water was not clean water big shocker so this was not clean water so them drinking this dirty water did not help their sickness but then, when they actually realized that this water was dirty and that it was making them sick, they stopped drinking it, which led to dehydration. And dehydration, again, just like not eating, did not help their hunger or sickness at all. It just made them even more sick. Now that we're done with the hardships, this is probably one of the most important facts about Jamestown. It's definitely going to be on your test, fellow dum-dums. So, here's Jamestown Original. Jamestown originally was a nice little town. Jamestown, I mean, that's, that's a fact. Um, 
but sorry if this looks pretty wonky. Basically, Jamestown was a had a wall around a wall around it, and that was shaped like a triangle. But at these corners right here, there were two half circles. So I'm sorry that this doesn't look like that, but that's pretty hard to make in Minecraft. So now all I have to say about this is that this was Jamestown Original. Now, I know that there weren't only three buildings in Jamestown Original, but these just represent little houses. Now, the thing about Jamestown Original was it was just a town made out of local resources. Trees, some dirt, water, mud, bricks, that kind of stuff. So it wasn't as sturdy, and not many of these people had experience building not many of them had any experience in building because they weren't used to this hardship. They were used to a pampered lifestyle. So, John Smith had to make the quote, who shall, not, who shall not work shall not eat. So, if you're not doing your share of building Jamestown, you're not going to eat. You copied that from the New Testament. So, one thing I do have to say, though, is that the, again, triangle at the bottom corners, two half circles. So, the thing is, is Jamestown was burnt down. So, it was burnt down on May 29th of 1677. Um, um, not, uh, it, yeah, it was burnt down. And the cause was, um, Bacon's Rebellion, um, Nathaniel Bacon, I'm not even kidding, that's his last name, Bacon. I actually had to look up how to how to pronounce his last name because I I was like, is that Bacon? Oh, go watch Dan's video after this video. Sorry about that. Um, but the fire cards was Bacon's Rebellion and that was pretty much just government and government stuff. Um politics kind of it that doesn't matter that's not part of it um but yeah that was just fire cause in case that does come up so again jamestown's jamestown's wall shape triangle these bottoms had half circles so jamestown was rebuilt jamestown was reinforced and they did they didn't really change the wall at all um obviously i can't really make a perfectly identical wall so pretend like this is identical to this um and it wasn't smaller or bigger i again i apologize i just couldn't make them identical so imagine this this but cobblestone um so there was one thing i did want to do though there we go so as jamestown is burning down um, this was actually part of it. That was part of the plan in the video to burn Jamestown down. And then, as Jamestown is burning down, we're going to walk over to the new Jamestown after the fire. So, this is Jamestown after the fire, and they kept the same shape. Again, pretend this is this just cobblestone. Um, but yeah, and they reinforced it. That's what the cobblestone is, since wood is very... Look at that, it's already burning down. This one's not on fire. There we go. And they pretty much had to remake everything. Like, even the wall. It's just like that on fire. Oh, no, this isn't supposed to be on fire. This didn't burn. Okay, but yeah, it was reinforced, and everything was pretty much fixed. Now, that is actually the brief... Now, that concludes the brief history. Let's go into third person so I can give you guys a proper outro. Now, that was the brief history of jamestown the dum dums guide to the brief history of jamestown now i did hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe comment down below if you guys would like me to make any more dum dums guide to history now that is a new series coming on the channel soon so if you guys want to see more dum dums guide to history um Make sure to leave a like and comment down below if you guys want me to make a Dum Dums his guide to history on World War One or World War Two, or if you guys want me to make something in order, like going into the Civil War. That I would enjoy that a lot, actually. And if you guys do want to see a video like that, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below of what you want me to do next. Bye, guys.